The topic that I will be going over today is white holes and wormholes. Throughout this presentation, I'll be referring to them as wormholes. The study of wormholes began with Einstein. Einstein wrote a set of equations that a man named Schwarzschild said the exact answers to these equations would end up with wormholes. The problem was that the answers became negative square roots, which is not possible, which is one example of why they state that wormholes cannot exist. The second law of thermodynamics states that entropy of the universe always increases in the course of every spontaneous natural change. In other words, temperature, pressure, and density even out over time. Another reason stated by Schwarzschild that wormholes cannot exist is that they violate this law. Although I have stated these reasons why wormholes can't exist, exact answers to Einstein's equations do result in wormholes. So wormholes exist in this sense, but are not realistic. When a realistic star collapses to a black hole, it does not produce a wormhole. Even if a wormhole was formed, it would be unstable and it would fly apart. Now let's say the idea of a wormhole did exist. Being scientists, what would be the first thing we would try to do is send things through it, eventually being a person. The problem with wormholes is that eva after evaluation of them, the way they are created, they elongate and then they become skinny around the middle, and they would get to a certain point where nothing would be able to go through it, thus travel through it would not be possible in Schwarzschild's idea of a wormhole. This idea of wormholes elongating is due to the fact of the large amount of gravity that is causing it to elongate and go skinny around the middle. The idea of a wormhole is actually the opposite of a black hole where if you went inside it would instantly crush everything in there. The idea of a wormhole is that when you went in it would spit out due to the gravity forcing it and the skinny points it would be like taking a tube that's open wide on both ends and pushing water or air through it where it goes in slowly out the large ends and once it gets to the middle it pushes out fast and shoots out to another area and this is the idea of wormholes is that when you go in one end you don't know where it will spit you out on the other end if you were allowed to pass through it in all the long discussions about wormholes it's been talked about of what would happen if you went into one not only has it been discussed that you could teleport to a different part of the universe physically or maybe even to a different universe entirely but one major aspect is the thought of time travel many people have thought if you went into one end of the wormhole and you were taken out the other end that you might possibly have traveled through time due to the complications of what a wormhole actually is, this would actually be possible, that you could actually travel through time, maybe super far into time, or possibly go back into time, or into another just time zone, uh, also thought of as another universe. Uh, a funny example of this that many of you would probably think of is Planet of the Apes, where he goes through a uh, field that they have no idea what it is, and he ends up in another area or time where apes run the land and this is just one thought that white holes or wormholes might actually be able to do. Like many other aspects of science, wormholes are researched constantly and people are trying to find actual wormholes to, in the hope that they do actually exist and in the future hope that we might even be able to figure out time travel, teleportation, some sort of aspect like this. And maybe one day they will find it. But as of now, Einstein's equations resulting in negative square roots and things like that just not being possible and violating the second law of thermodynamics, wormholes cannot exist. Although the search is still out there and it would be very interesting to see if they could find them, 
Right now, hopes are not looking too high to try to find wormholes. If they ever did find them, I myself would not be a volunteer, I can tell you that. But I'm sure they could find some people out there willing to figure out if they can go to a different time zone. Or time era. I hope that you found this interesting, as I did. And maybe think that you will further the search for wormholes one day. Three million miles from the sun People get ready, get ready Cause here it comes It's a light, a beautiful light Over the horizon, into our eyes Oh my, my, how beautiful Oh my beautiful mother She told me, son, in life You're gonna go far If you do it right, you'll love where you are